it's not it's, it's not often uh, in fact never that I have an opportunity to welcome a president to any of our events today will be the first as we proudly welcome to Derry the president of Unison Andrea Egan hello and thank you for inviting me to speak it's a great pleasure to address today's Save Our NHS Rally here in Derry. But I want to begin by sending a message of support to the family of John Cordwell and also a message of solidarity to Omar Union, Trade Union Council, who are holding a vigil for John today. Omar Trade Council Secretary Anton McCabe has made a statement calling for unity, not division. And we can all agree with those sentiments. Solidarity. Thank you, Andrea. Um, next up, um, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you one of Derry's finest socialist trade union organisers and leaders. Gareth Moore is regional organiser for Ages the Union. If we do one thing today, let it be that we send a message. We will not allow people to be priced out of existence so that a billionaire can make another billion. We will not allow people to be frozen and starved in their homes. And we will never allow for the destruction of our NHS. Solidarity Courage! Thank you, Gareth. Uh, continuing uh, our, our theme of socialist trade union fighters, who have a long history of challenging injustice, discrimination, and dedicating their working lives to social justice and working class unity. I now introduce to you Deborah Yapovich. For the record, IC2 Health Unions will not accept any single union deal that excludes or ignores everyone else. We are one movement, one NHS. Our pay hasn't risen, but we have. Thank you. Rachel Carlin is our next speaker. Rachel is a volunteer at the Focus Project. If our staff are underpaid and overworked, imagine the impact it has on their lives and their families' lives. Many have left work for different sectors that are far less demanding, but are similarly paid. We will look after our health then. Action needs to be taken now. If this is what we are looking like now, imagine what we are facing in the near, very near future. What kind of health service, education system, society will we leave for our children then? So stand with workers, stand with the unions, stand with the community, and stand in solidarity. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Our next speaker once said, we don't pull any punches when we are fighting capitalism. Worldwide, the transfer of the most breathtaking amounts of wealth in the world and the whole history of humanity concentrated into the hands of tiny elites, while at the same time, billions of humans struggle to survive and hundreds of millions live in outright squalor. It is clear that around the world, there is a growing awareness of the basic concept that capitalism is a system of turmoil and chaos. On behalf of Dairy Trade Union Council and everyone here, I welcome onto the stage Susan Fitzgerald from Unite the Union. Health workers can only take so much and this is a battle not just for them. It's a battle for all of us because of the social value of health. And it's no surprise that other workers are fulsome in their support. The health strikes like the local authority strikes last year can be a catalyst, catalyst for other workers to act and can give a voice to the deep, bone deep discontent in our society. Northern Ireland housing executive workers are entering their seventh month of strike. The Seagate banner is here today. The Seagate workers banner uh, be more accurate and you will have seen it around this city over the last weeks and months. It's a source of huge, huge pride to unite, and I know to the Trades Council here who have been endlessly supportive of our members in Seagate, who after a long, long time, a long time of trying and efforts, have arrived at a historic juncture last Friday when they pressed the button after months of organising 
to seek formal trade union recognition and collective bargaining rights are seeking. That was great, Susan. Thank you. Uh, we hear a lot about the shocking and disgraceful uh, treatment by government towards our health sector workers. One such group of workers being our NHS nurses, who for years have faced rising workloads and pay cut year after year after year. We are honoured to have one of those health service heroes with us today. Beverly Simpson is our next speaker. Beverly is a member of the local Foyle Health Trade Union branch, where she holds the position of Black and Migrant Officer. Saul Darley, Beverly. Workers demand better. The NHS began in July 1940 with the aim to be accessible to everyone. After a decade of underfunding, the NHS continues to sink like the Titanic, taking casualties in its way. Politicians fight among themselves to find life jackets, raft, boats, to get off what workers drown in debts, food banks, more debts, chronic understaffing, low morale, and uncertainty. Shame on this government. Our next speaker is centrally involved in removing car park and freeze for uh, NHS workers across the, the Belfast Trust and securing better mileage. For our, for our health workers. You're very welcome, Tanya. The workers are the backbone of the health service, the defenders of this national treasure, and we must support them to support the health service. Comrades, the depth of the crisis in the health service is difficult to understate. Comrades before have already alluded to all the problems. Bevan said, it will last as long as folk have the faith to fight for it. Do we have the faith? Yes! Are we up for the fight? Yes! Damn right we are. The qu critical question here is, what do we do about it? We take to the streets. We organize rallies and protests like this up and down the country. The struggles in the civil service, the health service, the education sector, the Isaac sector, all of, all of the, the current struggles, they need to be coordinated to build towards a general strike. Everybody out together! Thanks, Tanya. Our final esteemed platform speaker is Felicity McCall, a dedicated and proud member of the National Union of Journalists. When BBC management first announced plans to tear the heart out of Radio Foil, we responded with grit and determination. Trade unions, community groups, political parties and churches spoke with one voice, sending a clear message to the Director General and Chairman at the BBC. That message was as simple as it was true. We deserve better and we demand better. And together we will make things better. For all of us, comrades, thank you. Okay, that wraps it up then for the speakers, and I want to I want to thank everybody for coming again. And can I just ask everybody who uh, was a platform speaker to come up to the front? Can we get a, a photograph? The fight goes on, everyone. Thank you. Yeah.